Hey Simleys, it's Delicacy here with uh, part two of, no, part three of Let's Build a Hospital in the Sims 4 Get to Work. Uh, test man is feeling sad. He probably wants this to get finished as soon as possible. But anyways, I was reading comments in the last part. There were like five, over 500 comments, which was insane with awesome feedback. So I read as many as I could. I think I've read most of them. Um, I think I've read all of them unless some extras came in. But um, basically, a few of the comments that stood out, uh, one was that someone had downloaded this already and they said that uh, the rooms weren't big enough to actually fit a lot of the equipment we need in them. So um, I've done some extensions. I've actually extended uh, these rooms right here um, and I put in a couple of medical equipment things to see that they would fit and I've put a little desk here which I think is quite good. I just ate some Doritos and my voice is a bit weird. Um, and then, yeah, so these rooms have been extended. Uh, what else did we do? Oh yeah. And I added this extra big room at the back. So, um, we, we needed this extra, extra big room because we just couldn't, I don't think we can fit all everything we need in it otherwise. So let's get back into it. Oh, and I also changed the front desk because it didn't have the logo on it. And some of you guys said to do that and this camera needs to be moved. Excellent. Oh, and lastly, um, heaps of you pointed out that the windows were not private and I don't think you'd want to give birth with people being able to look in or have a consultation and people see when they walk by. So I've put in all of these uh, two-way windows. So um, you can see out from this side, but you can't see in from the other side. Those came with the Sims 4 Get to Work. So um, that's good and we need to paint this wall. <gasps> okay, let's get into it uh, now that I've gone on about that. So um, I did ask, what else do you put in a disabled toilet? And uh, apparently there's sinks in them which a lot of you guys mentioned. So I will put a sink in there. I just had a complete moment of brain fog. Okay, so we'll try and add in a sink. Um, to these accessible toilets. Ooh, do you reckon those are gonna intersect and be a bit annoying? I reckon that might be a bit of a problem. So I'm going to put that door right here, pop the chair there, and um, that should work out fine. We might put a mirror in there too because um, you're going to want to check yourself out probably when you're in the bathroom. I can't stand it when public bathrooms don't have mirrors or if they have the half mirrors that you can barely see. Um, like I don't know what material they're made out of, but they're, they're just annoying. Also, someone said their parents um, work at a hospital or the hospital they go to a lot have hygiene things actually outside the doctor's offices. So I thought we could put extra hygiene soaps around the place and that would be a little bit more realistic probably. So we might just put them at a few of the doors. So before you go in, you can wash your hands, keep it all nice and hygienic. I don't think we'll put them out the front of every door because that's a little bit like full on probably. Or maybe those ones should actually go inside the, the doctor's offices, but we'll deal with those when we actually deal with them. Probably need them around the cafeteria too, or maybe just in front of the cafeteria doors. Have them there. Hopefully that doesn't intersect too much with Sims trying to get out the door. So I might just pop it on the side. Who's in line? <laughs> Definitely not in line. Damn it. Yeah, that's pretty good. Alrighty, uh, a lot of you guys weren't that keen on the blue idea in the front room, but I think, I mean, I think it's okay. Um, because if we make them all a beige color, it's a bit sad, you know? <laughs> I don't know, it's just not that bright and colorful. We could mismatch a few of them, but I know I do that like a lot, so. 
I don't know. I think the mismatching kind of works nicely. All right. Didn't we have flowers or something on top of this desk? I swear we did, um, but they must get deleted. So we'll put some blue tulips on there to welcome people to the hospital and say good day. Um, and then we'll pop the important manila folder on there. Maybe some tissues if people get a little bit emotional when they're coming up to the front desk. Good ones. Uh, okay, my doctor's office actually has, <laughs> like my doctor says, my doctor's awesome by the way, but she says, um, like my GP, she says that the, there's a crying chair <laughs> in her office. She's like, this is where everyone cries, so don't worry if you get upset, you can cry in the chair. Not that, I mean, touch wood, I've been very lucky not to be uh, seriously ill with anything, so please don't be mistaken. But um, just with general checkups and stuff, we've always had a giggle about that, and um, it, it's nice. It's nice when your doctors can be laid back and yeah. Okay, let's do these testing rooms. So this first one, we have the desk here. We have the treadmill, treadmill things around here. So. I think that'll work. Um, and then we'll put a desk chair here and a computer so the doc can uh, do their thing. Because I know you do need to use the computer a lot when you're in this room. Should we make that aqua or the teal color? Heaps of you guys weren't fond of the teal, but I quite like it. So I'm actually going to leave it. Um, but feel free when you download this to change it up. Um, if if you would like to put really fancy schmancy computers in this hospital because a favorite hospital always could be fancy. Um, nice little plant there. There's often some paintings around the place. That makes it look like a really cool doctor's office, a little bit too snazzy. Maybe this can be a doctor they look up to. Whoa, that's a big picture. That freak you out if you went in there and there was a picture that big. I feel like we need something that is more uh, to do with what we're actually doing here. So we might put some folders up. Medium print. Exit sign. What's this? The plaque of honor. No, that's not going to be in a testing room, is it? Could have a notice board, but that doesn't really make sense either. Just random policemen. <laughs> Let's just put manila folders up here. It's a folder area and probably some cabinets would be good. Let's just go to the kitchen to get those. Uh, which one's best? Maybe these ones? That. Do you want them in a different color? The navy is quite nice. What do we think of that? Hmm. It's probably not the best we can do. These ones kind of just go with the room, so we might keep those and go back to the, the chair. Just because they kind of go with what we've already got here. Yeah, that's a little bit too rustic. All right, maybe we'll just do these. Just two of them. Excellent, 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 excellent. Perfect. So that's that. Uh, it would be good to have a measuring thing on the wall, but I don't think we really have anything other than the kids one. Uh, we could put these. Oh, there not there a poster with stretches on it? We could put sports posters up in here. Uh, I swear there was one with, was that in The Sims 3 where it had stretches and stuff on it? We could put athletes on the wall. 
This is to make you want to run faster on the treadmill. Yeah, I swear there was. Hmm, I hope there's no one yelling at the screen right now about where it is, because I feel really bad when you guys say you've done that and I wasn't able to find something. Um, na, 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 na. Well, we have another running poster, so that's good. There's wall decorations. Mm -hmm. Must was it in Sims 3? Oh well, you guys do comment if you know where it is um, that I was looking for, but these will have to do for now. It could have easily been in The Sims 3 because I do confuse the two of them a lot. And, you know, maybe we should have another hygiene thing just here. I don't think we need much else um, in that room, so that's cool. Okay. Um, question, where do we want the pregnancy things to go? Maybe this should be the delivery room. Just here. I mean, can we have two lots of deliveries in the one room? I don't think that's a thing, is it? Because this is the delivery machine. So... Um, I suppose we can actually make two rooms from this. Should we do that, perhaps? Because those fit in pretty much perfectly right here. For some reason, I don't think we should have windows there. Probably get rid of that light. And then... Maybe have a wall that goes like that. Do these still fit in there perfectly? And then we need a spot for where the bassinets go, so we could maybe go something like that. And uh, I don't know what to do with this area. That's my only problem. Unless it kind of... goes like that. Kind of round the corner to get into the delivery room. Is that okay? Does that work? Hmm. Thinking, you guys. I'm thinking. I think it works. I think I'm going to go with that. And we can have these nice um, wallpapers just there. Okay. I just can't help but think of Father of the Bride. They're facing delivery rooms when they have the two babies. Okay, now we've got that sorted. We've got lights above the delivering machine. We need to get those bassinets in here. These sims are kind of annoying, but I have move objects on, so it should be fine. Uh, okay, so there's this. What is the difference between these? It doesn't look like there's any... Whoa, there's a kid in it! <laughs> there's a baby in that one. That's like, oh my gosh, I can't delete it. That's really creepy that a baby appeared. Oh my gosh, I can't get rid of it. <gasps> what? Oh no, we can't do anything. I can't even press Control Z to get rid of it. It's just deleting everything else I did. What, now we have to have a random kid on a diagonal. Great. <laughs> we have a random baby that's been born. So maybe when they're born, these things appear. I don't... Oh, let's just put the baby out here. I don't know what to do with it. I'm just going to put it at the front door. Oh, it's gone. Oh, no, it's back. I'm going to put it at the front door of the hospital as if it was left at the front. Oh, we can't move it anywhere now. Okay, well, 
that's where that bassinet's going. We also have these other uh, nanu bassinets. As seen on TV. I, I think I'd rather just have a couple of these. I'll place them correctly so we don't have any issues with that. Uh, so that's in case you were lucky enough to have twins. That bassinet's there. Maybe we could put some cute, um, like, child-friendly... wallpaper here except we don't want it to have the that stuff on the top of it I keep thinking scaffolding but it's definitely not scaffolding that's kind of fun I guess it doesn't matter necessarily if we have oh that's cute that works I was gonna say it doesn't really matter if we have the stuff across the top of it, but that's cuter. That's cute. Cute, cute. Not too bad. There. And we're going to need a big light above the doorway, so let's grab one of these. I'm excited to actually decorate the doctor's offices. The doctor's offices. Doctor's offices. God, I can't even speak English right now. Um. And yeah, we definitely want to be pushing the hygiene in this area. So let's pop that there. I want to keep definitely hand sanitized for delivering a baby. Nice that you get to look out the window. Uh, okay. I, I don't really know what else we should put in here. In the baby's room. I guess we could put a nice color on the wall. Because it's looking pretty bland at the moment. We could just go a really soft blue colour. Like that. Something a little more muted though would be ideal. Oh, that's okay. Yeah. We could have a blue and a greeny delivery room. And then you have the little baby area. Maybe we should put little mobiles in too. Just because they're cute. Oh, they're up quite high, aren't they? Pretty tall baby mobile, but the baby can still see it. Okay. Lovely, lovely. So that's the delivery room. It kind of looks like there should be a rug or something underneath there. Um... For you to kind of step out on when you're done delivering. Do these come in any nicer colours? The graphics are a bit weird around the edge of these too. Um, those edges are pretty rough, aren't they? It just adds that little that little bit of extra detail to the room there, which I appreciate. Alright, so I've got those in there. bit of a colour issue. Feels like there should be something else on the wall. Um, what else did we get with this, uh, with the medical items? Got x-rays, but I don't think this is really the room for x-rays to be put in nor do we want like a massive neon sign advertising this skeleton's probably going to just scare the bejesus out of the pregnant ladies so let's not do that all the pregnant men if you um if you uh get hit up by an alien we could put those along the wall because it ties in with the other wall actually that's quite nice Yep, we'll do that in the rooms. Just so there's something a little bit extra uh, to look at. Just seeming a little bit bland. Cool beans. All right, so we have our delivery rooms sorted, which is excellent. Um, we want to maybe... I'm going to leave the doctor's offices probably for the next part of this. But let's just whack in some of the other things we actually need in the build and we can refine them later. Uh, 
Um, but what do we need? Um, we have medical clinic. No requirements for the medical clinic. Interesting. So we're going to need a chemical analyzer or two around the place. So we're going to need at least two of those, I think. Oh, the drips. That's what we need in the delivery room. Is the delivery room gone over here? Where can we put this drip? I hope this isn't in the way. I don't think that's going to be in the way. Uh, I reckon the Sims are going to be able to get around that, but I will play a test it. Of course, just in case. But yeah, we're going to need chemical analyzers, so we've got those out. Um, we're going to need these fridgy things. It's vending machines over there. We've done that. We've used those. We've used... Oh, we're going to need... In the doctor's offices, we're probably going to need a mix of screens and beds plus desks. If there is anything else that I'm missing, please let me know. Because uh, I know I have a lot. We, we all know there's quite a lot of derpy deli moments uh, on this channel. <laughs> okay, when I just screw things up. Um, can we change the color of these? Oh, much nicer. I kind of like that the bronze color goes with these walls or the black's quite chic. Let's go black. And for these ones, we can go with the bronze maybe. Ooh, green's fun. I'm feeling the green. I am feeling the green. Oh, we could go one of each. No, we're going green. Okay, so chemical analyzers. Could we put these back to back in the middle of the room? Like have a uh, division wall or something. That'd be nice. So they can hopefully get around that. I think they can. Oh, we might be pushing it. I think we're pushing it, putting a division wall in there. Put one there. That's gonna go in the x-ray room. Put one over here. Maybe we should have an extra treadmill in this room. Or we just have a third chemical analyzer. Okay, it's really hard to know how to organize these. Um, well, maybe we make that the x-ray room because these x-rays take up a little bit extra. Yeah, we might do that. Then we can put a computer in there and have the analyzers in this space, which means we probably have enough room for a dividing wall. I just like the idea of having a division wall because it, in real life, that would make sense to have a little bit of privacy when you're working on different things. And then you can have things up on the wall here. Um, so we can probably get some nice flooring in there too. Can we do different colored x-rays? Oh, oh, I thought the x-rays would change color, which would have been nice. A few of these things around the place. Hmm, they look good. And then one up there maybe. Wait. I don't know what else to put in here. Medical certificates. Pictures of the human body. I wish there were more wall. You know, that's what we need in this expansion. A few more extra wall things. Would have been cool to have some diagrams of the human body. Um, or the sim body, should we say. Mm, maybe they're gone. Oh, the x-ray room should have the x-ray duvalaki. The x-rays. It would be cool if we could change the stance of these skeletons like the mannequins. We can probably put a few of these around the place to study. For some reason, I thought the filing things could look cool on top of here. 
no. I mean, it doesn't really look very different at all, does it? <laughs> oh, that was a little bit underwhelming. Yeah, that look, that just looks no good. No good. Anyways, I'm going to leave this part right here. Um, so we got the delivery rooms done at least and uh, a few extra bits and bobs around here. I mean, at least we have an idea of the floor plan of it all. Um, but anyway, guys, I hope you're having a lovely morning, afternoon, or evening, wherever you are in the world. And I look forward to speaking to you soon.